Hi, I'm Neil Thaggard. I'm the Director of Operations for the Wild Sheep Foundation, headquartered in Cody, Wyoming. We're out here enjoying some time with Ovis canadensis, otherwise known as the Rocky Mountain Bighorn Sheep. Prior to European settlement, it was believed that these animals may have, a, have been in a population of more than two million animals. Because of a number of issues, such as human encroachment, loss of suitable habitat, and today the number one factor uh, in hindering the recovery of bighorn sheep is disease. These animals today throughout western North America exceed 70,000, way less than their historic highs at the time of European settlement. However, it is through the work of the Wild Sheep Foundation and our partners that we're able to continue our recovery efforts to ensure that future generations are able to enjoy Ovis canadensis, the Rocky Mountain Bighorn. Well, if you notice behind me here, we've got uh, some Rocky Mountain Bighorn sheep. Uh, this is uh, part of the winter range outside of Cody, Wyoming. Uh, the bighorn sheep are starting to show up here. We're getting into late October. Uh, and the uh, bighorn sheep rut is just around the corner. At any time, we should have the uh, rams that start showing up here to uh, court the ewes. Uh, but as you can see, we've got, uh, we've got five bighorn sheep. We've got uh, three lambs here, uh, which is a good sign. We want to keep lambs. That's what uh, increases the population as time goes. Unfortunately, these sheep, you know, one of the things that they have to be really cautious of and, and people have to be cautious of and be, is to be aware that these sheep are here. As you see, they're along a highway. It's also a travel route for, uh, for people. Uh, going from Cody to Yellowstone National Park. So, you know, uh, lots of things against bighorn sheep, but we hope people will uh, certainly take care of them and uh, give them a little bit of leeway as they pass through. Now, if you notice behind me here, we've got uh, some piles of brush. It's uh, limbs uh, from uh, coniferous type uh, tree communities, such as cedar and spruce, uh, that have been cleared out of this area to help reduce the risk of wildfire. Uh, not that wildfire is a bad thing, we want wildfire, but the uh, U.S. Forest Service, the Shoshone National Forest here in western Wyoming has taken an active role in trying to reduce uh, vegetation that has taken over because of a hundred years of fire suppression. This will enable us to uh, manage our lands a little better, allow wildfire in the future to act more naturally it puts the dynamics of the fire back in its natural setting rather than having uh, these catastrophic wildfires that we've seen through the West. On behalf of the Wild Sheep Foundation and eCountry Lifestyle, I'm Neil Thaggard. We'd certainly like to thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to having you become a member to help us save this precious resource known as the Rocky Mountain Bighorn Sheep.